So it looks like we're headed to Good Neighbor. Let's find out just how far the Good Neighbor is. Okay. Back Street, Park Street Station. We'll just fast travel there. Yeah, it looks like we're going this way. Yeah, this way. Okay, that's a ghoul. Um... It should be right through here. Just a wall, there's no door here. Oh. Then I guess we have to go this way. Except you can't go that way. And we have to go around this way. I think. I don't know. Super mutants. Fuck. Uh oh. Nick, what are you doing? Got him. God damn it, Nick. Okay, can we keep moving, Nick? Or are you gonna keep being a dick about everything? Let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Good neighbor. It's over here. See how close we were to good neighbor? And you had to go ahead and stir the shit with some super mutants. So this is good neighbor, huh? Well, well, well. It's the detective. Tracking down another wayward husband to his mistress? Why? Someone stand you up? You trying that, uh, what do you call <laughs> Fuck. it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? Oh, uh, don't, 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 don't. What's it to you? Gotta know who's back and who in good neighbor. I ain't never seen you before. Maybe you're in the market for a little insurance? You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right. Ha! We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now. Okay. Oh, what? Nick Fuck you, Nick. Visit to town, and you're asking his friend here with that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. Oh fuck. I said, let him go. Oh, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking it's gonna about. Get, it's gonna get killed. Let me tell you something. Oh! Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got... What? 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 I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Okay. 
Good neighbor? That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. We make enough friends here. You'll call this place home soon enough. So long Probably as not. you remember who's in charge. God damn. What are you? What are you? You sell well, stuff? Hello. Everything here is guaranteed to in. Okay, sure. well, what do you say? What do you ask? Let's get you. Uh, assassin's rolling pin. Oh, what the fuck? Um, I'm gonna sell these Molotovs. I don't use them. Pulse grenades, righteous authority. Get rid of this and this. Uh. Farmhand clothes. I can get rid of all that. I th think. Get rid of the S San Francisco starlights. Or sunlights, whatever the fuck they're called. Man, you still got a whole shitload of things. What do you sell? Boxing glove. Mm. Frag grenades, missile launcher, marksman's hardened. It's, it's only 22? 22 damage? The fuck? Party starter? Alright, that's good. Thanks. But, uh, Daisy's discounts, huh? Oh, a new face walks into my store, and you're not even screaming. Got any work? I do, actually. Hmm. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. Oh, shit. Got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. That it? I don't think that's enough money to cover clearing out a whole building. Look, I've been sharing Shit. deals for two centuries, and you, the job's 200 cap. You got a deal, Daisy. Thanks. I might be able to get, like, more than 200 caps off of the loot from killing those fuckers. Daisy. Oh, you're bad. Can't get enough. I've got a few minutes. It's a little sure. bit of everything. What do you got? Um... Board, combat knife, frag grenades, laser rifle. Huh. Trying to get my hands on a decent sniper rifle or something. But I guess we're, we're good for now. So let's go find Dr. Amora. I think it was. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that. I'm coming peace, Malarkey. Hey. I don't know. Hey. Hey. Everyone's gonna say hey to me. This is hey, good neighbor. Ever been to kill to be killed? Some fine looking weapons. What's kill to be killed? Whatever. Fuck it. Alright. Uh Okay, this is all like well, well, stolen stuff. Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten me. The fuck is this place? I may have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't see anything. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Can I take these? I can. Nick, you're not even down here. Okay, there you go. Okay. Speak up now. Fuck you. We need your help, Doctor. 
I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory <laughs> simulators require intact, living brains to function. Uh... Some expert you are. I knew this was a waste of time. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. No guarantees. Do you have it with you? Yes, I do. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those oh. circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Okay. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Uh. You really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're ready, Maybe. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? I'll put you. Let's I'll put you down. You. Uh, just let me check something. I have any better apparel? Kellogg's outfit is pretty good. I'll wear that. Why the fuck not? I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. Okay. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Any way to break it? Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But oh, shit. what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory lounger. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All okay. Right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Right. Sit down here. Oh, no, he's. Where, where are you? Which one are you taking? Take a pick. All right, I'll take this one then. Fuck you. Okay. So initiating brainwave vibration oh. between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Jesus Christ, that's bright. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears Whoa. to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Well, where the fuck do I go? What do I do? There. Oh. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. The hell's this? Let 
remember. You are experiencing oh, the dummy back cannot. then. This what did I know about how the world first. worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, oh, okay, I get it. I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. This doesn't seem yeah, to be. It doesn't what matter now, though. There so I'm basically to be just getting intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. Backstory about there. Kellogg, I guess. Try that one. It's Mary? Fine. You'll see. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. That Kellogg right there? Not for one second. Looks like Fonzie. So Kellogg had a daughter. With a baby? Come on, Sarah, you gotta give it a chance. Is it San Francisco? Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Uh, okay, where are we going now? This looks like the vault. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? What's going on? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And I you another memory to weren't there I'll connect you. to help them. Okay, well... Whatever, moving on. Now, what's this? Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. Wastelander. Wastelander. So, uh... Bartender. I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek from us. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Okay. this next one? That didn't work. Where is the next one? Oh, here we go. So long story short, he grows up in an abusive household that eventually has a wife and a child. They get killed. He becomes a mercenary. And then here we are. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. Oh. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. Oh, From I see. I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. He's gonna fuck these things up. Initiate. Jesus Christ. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Of course. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. All right. We are running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. What is it? Oh shit. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis. 
So it was an institute scientist, I guess. All right, what the fuck? I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never liked to. And yeah. I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Hmm. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Okay, what's... Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just find it. Pod C6, down the hall near the end. And he has to pull out the gun. I'm like, serious. This is the one. Here. Open it. Am I all thawed out? Oh, I am too. Hi, me. How you doing? Hi. Is it over? Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here. Wait. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. Finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm uh okay. sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Whenever I'm ready. It's like Kellogg's house. At your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. His name is Sean. Good news, I think. There's nothing up there. Okay, what? Kellogg. It's okay. Institute Courser? Days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. The glowing sea? Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the okay. top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. What? Okay. It's all over. But the dreaming. What the fuck? X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Whoa! Bye. It's all over. Ten 
Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute. Because there, there is isn't no one. Fuck. Let me pull you out of there. How do we teleport in there? Exit memory. 